NASA has released new images of 3i Atlas, and Hubble and the JUICE space probe have also recently snapped photos of our mysterious visitor. While the images provide us with exciting new insights into this interstellar chunk of rock, it never tires of keeping experts on their toes with unexpected surprises. When 3i Atlas passed its closest point to the Sun a few weeks ago, it accelerated in a way that cannot be explained by the influence of gravity alone. What's more, it looks like ice volcanoes are erupting on the object's surface. And then astronomers also picked up a radio signal from 3i Atlas. But is this really an artificial message from an extraterrestrial crew? Or does the radio emission ultimately take the wind out of the sails of alien theories? Be sure to stay tuned until the end and find out with us. So far, the list of our interstellar visitors is still quite manageable. In fact, after Oumuamua and 2i Borisov, 3i Atlas is only the third known object ever to have entered our home world from another system. Discovered in July by an Atlas telescope in Chile, its hyperbolic trajectory and rapid speed leave no doubt that 3i Atlas is not held in the gravitational grip of the Sun. Experts also have no doubt that our guest is an interstellar comet. However, the fact that a chunk of rock is traveling past our earthly front door does not automatically mean that we can keep an eye on it at all times. On October 29th, 3i Atlas passed through its perihelion, the point in its orbit closest to the Sun, which meant that it was temporarily invisible to our Earth-based telescopes. During this phase, it was only 203 million kilometers away from our source of warmth and life, while our home planet was on the other side of the Sun. But even though our Earth-based observatories were blind to it, experts were still able to keep track of the chunk of rock with the kind assistance of our cosmic outposts. As it approached its closest point to the Sun, our guest came into focus for several Mars probes. ESA used ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express to photograph 3i Atlas, while NASA used Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MAVEN, and even the Mars rover Perseverance to take snapshots of the object. Despite the fact that none of these probes were designed to photograph tiny, fast-moving objects in the Martian sky, those in charge did not want to miss this unique opportunity. In fact, 3i Atlas whizzed past the red planet at a distance of only 30 million kilometers, giving our eyes in space a comfortable box seat, so to speak. What NASA's new images show The images from the ESA probes were published at the beginning of October. But since NASA, as a government agency, was also affected by the turmoil of the U.S. government shutdown, it took until November 19th before the rest of the world could marvel at their images. And while the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-resolution, high-rise camera usually examines the surface of our neighboring planet, this time it focused on 3i Atlas and produced the clearest image of its coma to date. This is the glowing shell of dust and gas that forms when sunlight heats the frozen gases in the comet's nucleus and causes them to escape into space. Such images help scientists to narrow down the size of the actual chunk more accurately. Current estimates put it between 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers. The MAVEN probe, which is otherwise dedicated to researching the weak Martian atmosphere, has targeted 3i Atlas in several ultraviolet wavelengths. In doing so, it collected spectrographic data and produced high-resolution UV images that sometimes reveal which and how many hydrogen isotopes the comet is outgassing. This is particularly important because this information allows conclusions to be drawn about the origin and development of the object. Although some experts assume that 3i Atlas originated in the so-called thick disk of the Milky Way and is already over 7 billion years old, we do not know exactly where the home system of our rare visitor lies. Perseverance's contribution to the 3i Atlas photo album is again in the form of a small, slightly elongated spot of light. It's easy to see that the other images do not provide a razor-sharp, detailed picture of the comet, and yet they are of immeasurable value to scientists. And the good news is that these are by no means all the insights our space helpers have gathered because 3i Atlas has also been captured by other probes and telescopes. 3i Atlas in the sights of Hubble and JUICE The cosmic stranger was observed and photographed by the Stereo and Soho solar probes, among others, and Hubble and JUICE also took part in the comet hunt, with the latter in particular being a real stroke of luck. 
developed by ESA and launched into space in April 2023. JUICE is actually on its way to the Jupiter system. But as luck would have it, the paths of the chunk and the probe crossed. And so it came to pass that Jupiter was able to point some of its instruments at 3i Atlas for almost the entire month of November and carry out an unexpected measurement campaign, from which researchers hope to gain further valuable insights. Before we know exactly what JUICE has discovered, however, we will have to be patient. The probe will not be close enough to Earth again until mid-February 2026 to transmit its extensive measurement data to us. But luckily for us, even experts can be a little impatient sometimes. JUICE is currently still close to the Sun, which is why it is using its main antenna as a heat shield to protect the sensitive onboard electronics from solar radiation. As a result, data can only be transmitted via an auxiliary antenna at a rate of a few bits per second. However, since the mission team at the European Space Operations Center in Darmstadt did not want to wait until February, 25% of the navigation camera images have already been transmitted to Earth piece by piece. In a manner of speaking, those responsible have thus published a teaser for what is to come in the coming weeks. In it, we see the bright core of the chunk, the coma, and a faint tail, which is located at about 11 o'clock in the image. However, since the camera was not designed to observe celestial bodies so far away, the image itself is very noisy. The photos we can expect to see next year, however, were taken by the Janus scientific camera and will be significantly sharper. The photo taken by the Hubble Space Telescope of 3i Atlas is also significantly sharper and above all, more colorful. In fact, Hubble had already observed the object shortly after its discovery in July but this time the distance between the two was significantly shorter. The image shows us the interstellar visitor in detail on November 30th, when it had moved to within 286 million kilometers of our earthly home. The Hubble image once again shows us the core of the chunk and also gives us a sense of how gigantic its coma is. Its diameter is a whopping 120,000 kilometers. However, the solid core of the object is not visible in the image. Instead, the bright spot in the center marks the area with the highest gas density. The faint, slanted lines that we can see in the background are not mini probes accompanying 3i Atlas, but stars. As Hubble tracked the speeding comet, the sparkling luminous structures have been optically distorted into lines. Radio signals and ice volcanoes. Apart from the exciting images taken around perihelion, 3i Atlas has also recently made headlines for completely different reasons. Thanks to researchers such as Avi Loeb, the cries of aliens simply won't stop, and there are still people who see something completely different in our guest than a purely natural chunk of space debris. And then the following reports made the rounds. 3i Atlas accelerated in a way that cannot be explained by the influence of gravity alone and even emitted a radio signal. So is this the final confirmation that the object is less of a comet and more of an extraterrestrial spacecraft? Well, not quite. Although it's true that the chunk experienced so-called non-gravitational acceleration near the sun, experts can explain this without resorting to exotic propulsion technologies. All that is needed is the effect of outgassing. The escaping gases act like tiny engines that can gently push the comet and minimally alter its trajectory. Okay, but in the case of the radio signal, the matter is clear. Or is it? After all, the so-called WOW signal, a narrowband radio signal received in 1977, is still considered the most promising candidate for an extraterrestrial message. And indeed, researchers have now also detected radio waves from our interstellar visitor using the South African Meerkat radio telescope. But the crucial message here is that these waves originate from purely natural processes in the coma. The bottom line is that the recorded absorption lines actually underscore the natural background of the chunk and are an important indicator of typical comet sublimation. To briefly recap, when solar radiation heats the ice on the surface, it sublimates, which means that it transitions directly from a solid to a gaseous state. And while we're on the subject of ice, the following observation should also be mentioned. New images show spiral-shaped jets erupting from the surface, and some astronomers suspect that these could be cryovolcanoes, or in other words, ice volcanoes. There are many indications that the escaping gas is not only produced by surface sublimation, but also emerges from deeper layers. 
The corresponding materials could therefore trigger actual eruptions when heated. And no less exciting is the fact that the corresponding composition is strongly reminiscent of our trans-Neptunian objects. This in turn suggests that 3i Atlas consists of very primitive material and acts as a messenger from a much earlier cosmic era. And your click can now herald a new era of subscriptions. Simply press the thumbs up button and subscribe so you never miss a new video from us again. See you soon.